A man speaks of what he knows, a woman of what pleases her. The one requires knowledge, the other taste. Insults are the arguments implied by those who are in the wrong. The money you have gives you freedom. The money you pursue enslaves you. Why should we build our happiness on the opinions of others when we can find it in our own hearts? People who know little are usually great talkers, while men who know much say little. Those that are most slow in making a promise are the most faithful in the performance of it. The person who has lived the most is not the one with the most years but the one with the richest experiences. Remorse sleeps during prosperity but awakes bitter consciousness during adversity. Reason deceives us, conscious never. One can buy anything with money except morality. Do not judge and you will never be mistaken. Gratitude is a duty which ought to be paid but which none have a right to expect. Falsehood has an infinity of combinations but truth has only one mode of being. Absolute silence leads to sadness. It is the image of death. There is no subjection so perfect as that which keeps the appearance of freedom. All through life a man has need of a counselor and guide. Plant and your spouse plants with you, weed and you weed alone. To endure is the first thing that a child ought to learn and that which he will have the most need to know. We are reduced to asking others what we are. We never dare to ask ourselves. My liveliest delight was in having conquered myself. A feeble body weakens the mind. Slaves lose everything in their chains, even the desire of escaping from them. The thirst after happiness is never extinguished in the heart of man. Take the course opposite to custom and you will almost always do well. Every man has a right to risk his own life for the preservation of it. Provided a man is not mad, he can be cured of every folly but vanity. There is no cure for this but experience. If indeed there is any cure for it at all. It is hard to prevent oneself from believing what one so keenly desires. To make a man richer, give him more money of curb his desires. 
that man is truly free who desires what he is able to perform and does what he desires one thinks himself the master of others and still remains a greater slave than they the strongest is never strong enough to be always the master unless he transforms strength into right and obedience into duty even knaves may be made good for something that which renders life burdensome to us generally arises from the abuse of it a man who is not a fool can rid himself of every folly except vanity everything degenerates in the hands of man temperance and labor are the two real physicians of man all that time is lost which might be better employed we do not know what really good or bad fortune is we pity in others only the those evils which we ourselves have experienced force does not constitute right obedience is due only to legitimate powers the taste for splendor is hardly ever combined in the same souls with the taste for the honorable physical evils destroy themselves or they destroy us an honest man nearly always thinks justly no one is happy unless he respects himself The man is best served who has no occasion to put the hands of others at the end of his own arms. Equality because without it there can be no liberty. A person who can break wind is not that The greatest braggarts are usually the biggest cowards. Do you not know that a child badly taught is farther from being wise than one not taught at all? It is too difficult to think nobly when one thinks only of earning a living.